Okay, Jason, what I want to go over is uh, how incredibly versatile the Raptor 2K product is. We are moving over to utilizing Raptor as a two-coat texture product, a texture replacement product, because a lot of the products that guys are using in the shop right now are a 1K product, and they end up having a lot of issues when they come back to application of base coat and clear coat over the top of that. So when we start moving away from using Raptor as a typical bed liner, which is frequently done with our 726 gun. This is one of our standard application tools that we've used forever with Raptor. It does a great job. But when a professional body shop technician is using this, they're typically looking for a finer type of atomization than we're gonna get out of this particular gun right here. So we've got a couple of different options that we can do. The unique thing about Raptor is it doesn't matter how you apply it. You can brush it, dip it, spray it, roll it, pretty much any way that you want to get it on the grade itself. But when you get into some of these very fine textures that are required when you're doing a two-component two texture replacement, is you need to be able to have a wide range of atomization features or characteristics that you have with uh, pr can produce with the Raptor itself. So the variable tip gun is one way that we utilize this. Uh, another thing that a lot of people will do is they will use HVLP spray equipment with a variety of nozzle needle and air cap setups. And the thing that we found that works really, really well is the uh, 3M Performance HO gun with a pressure fed configuration. And what we've done is we've tied all of this application equipment that people are typically using for Raptor into the wall chart that we produce for specifically for the body shop. So the wall chart covers the standard SOP for how to mix, prep, and apply Raptor to the substrate that you're working on. And then we've got three different options depending on the type of texture that the individual is trying to produce. So if they are relegated to only using the 726 gun, we have got our option number one, which gives us the ability to use either the 726 gun or the 4880 gun in a standard siphon feed configuration. And the way that that works is once the Raptor is activated, it threads directly onto the bottle. It's a direct siphon fed gun. You pull the trigger, the material comes out, and you're adjusting your texture based on your inlet line pressure and your distance off the panel itself. That will affect the, the uh, texture. If we're using option number one, and once again, we're using the 4880 gun, we set the line pressure on the gun, and this tip moves in and out of the head of the gun, and that restricts or increases the fluid flow. It enhances the uh, particle size, makes it smaller or larger, depending on whatever the application requires. If the operator is using a standard gravity-fed gun, and then they are adjusting uh, the nozzle and needle set and the airline pressure that they need to get to achieve whatever that texture is going to be. The thing that I really like about this gun and really what got us onto this application process for uh, this specific uh, texture code application is that with one nozzle set, a 2.0 nozzle set, we can actually pressurize the cup and it goes into the standard lid and liner system that guys are using in the body shops right now but it has a pressurized cup. So this is a different cup assembly that goes on the top of the gun itself. And it will pressurize the material and literally push the product from the cup into the gun itself. And we've got a variety of inlet line pressures from very low pressure, four to six PSI, up to a maximum pressure of 15 PSI. And that will generate an infinite number of textures that the operator needs to match whatever texture is on the vehicle. So is he using his actual uh, two coat texture replacement product on rocker panels, door skins, quarter panels? Is he shooting a bumper cover? Is he shooting um, the fender flares? Is he doing mirror covers? Things of that nature. All of those things require different textures. And that's the beauty of being able to use that piece of product or that piece of kit to develop any of these textures that they're looking for. Once they've got the product on the substrate, they allow it to dry for approximately 30 minutes and then they can come back and they can directly top coat that material with the base coat or single stage of their choice and then clear coated if there's going to be a clear coated process. Mark, that's really great information. What are you and Kevin going to demonstrate today? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to show how to incorporate the material and the information on our wall chart into an actual application. We're going to use our 4880 gun and we're going to use a 3M HO performance gun and show how you achieve a variety of textures to very thin to very coarse. Once we've got the material on there, we're going to allow it to dry for approximately 30 minutes and we're going to apply base coat over the door, including the texture, let that flash off and clear coat it. So you'll be able to see exactly the process that we go through to generate uh, texture replacement on a door, a quarter, a rocker panel, whatever the operator needs to work with.